Good afternoon, everyone. My name is TJ Muleman, founder and CEO of Standard Co. With a brief tutorial that combines two things, one that I've loved for a long time and one thing that I'm growing to love. The first is Metabase. Uh, Metabase is our data visualization tool of choice. The second thing is Tidbit. Tidbit is something I don't even own yet, but I will soon. Tidbit is a like cool retro countertop thing that can show uh, widgets, right? It shows sports and weather and stock market and that kind of stuff. But you can add your own widgets. So what I'm going to do is I'll show you what I've, how I've done that uh, using Metabase. So a common use case here at Standard Co. is we want to monitor how much data flows through our system on a given day or week. And one thing that we want to particularly pay, pay close attention to is how much data that flows into our system that's corrupted, that needs to be manually uh, fixed. Um, so, for example, uh, this week, uh, this is real data, we've had 62 submissions flow through our system that's corrupted. That means the data was captured in the field on a phone uh, or on a tablet. Something happened to it in transit. We don't know what, but it didn't get into the right place. We have the data. We can fix it, and we always do. Uh, but this will at least alert me to the fact that we need to go chase this down. Um, the cool thing with Metabase is that with all questions, you get uh, a really simple API for free. So, for example, we're looking at uh, this week, we've had 62 failed submissions. I can turn this data into a JSON endpoint by going to share, toggling on sharing for that question if it's not already on, and then click public link and what do I want? CSV, XLSX, or JSON? In this case, I want JSON. So I'm gonna click JSON and I'm gonna copy that to my clipboard. So let me close this. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scroll over to this is a tidbit sample code base that I've been writing. Now, let me be very clear. I am not a tidbit developer. I've only been doing this for about, I don't know, three hours now. Um, but it's really simple. They have a great community, great sample apps that I was able to copy from. And it was able to kind of quickly get a, a sample app up and running. So uh, Tidbit uses something called Starlark as its code base, uh, which is a derivative of Python, I believe. Um, <laughs> so, uh, but I've gotten this working, so I was able to do it. That means you can do it too. So I'm copying that URL here into this uh, constant up here. Uh, and this is the URL that will return the, the JSON response. I've created a really simple pixelated icon to make my widget look rad. And then I've created two really simple functions here, right? Um, and again, if, even if you're not a Starlark developer or Python developer, this is pretty straightforward stuff. So I'm saying, show me all the failed submissions. So I'm basically doing an HTTP call to that Metabase uh, JSON endpoint. And I'm basically saying, hey, did this fail? And if it doesn't fail, tell me the response. How many failed submissions? That's this line right here. And so you can see the nice thing about Metabase is it makes all of their JSON endpoints line up very cleanly with what you see in the dashboard. So it's really straightforward. The second function I have here is the main uh, function. And basically, you can ignore some of this. Um, what I'm doing here is I'm rendering two widgets uh, in my uh, Tidbit app. I'm rendering the image, the pixelated image that I talked about just a moment ago. I'm saying it's 30 pixels by 30 pixels. And I'm doing a marquee which scrolls across the screen because I have a lot of text that I'm going to show. And the text is basically how many failed submissions uh, were in our system this week. So this is my... Uh, system. I've got my terminal running down here, so I've got to, I'm going to restart my server. So pixlet serve, and then I called this stack dot star. And so now my server's up and running, and I can browse to this, which I've got running over here. And let me refresh it, and voila! We now have a tidbit app that shows our cool logo, uh, and scrolling across that we have 62 failed submissions. So I'm going to put this in my office because it looks cool and my office is rad and it's going to show at, in real time how many submissions have failed in the last week. And I might set some threshold that says if it gets above maybe 100, uh, shoot off some fireworks. If it hits zero, which is really rad, maybe it uh, does a dancing person, a dancing bear. I don't know. Um, but my point here is that I'm now connecting Metabase to Tidbit using a very simple JSON URL. Uh, and I'm looking forward to actually wiring this up as soon as I get my tidbit in the mail uh, to show how you can build your own apps and display custom data on your device. 
So if you found this useful, subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have a bunch of meta-based content and just general data content. Uh, follow us, like, subscribe, tell your friends, and uh, look forward to hearing from you. Thanks so much.